Woo! What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Curly Hair Shinobi. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be on me building my PC. Again, if you haven't seen my last videos, I suggest you go check those out. The first one is the unboxing of my PC parts that I got from Amazon. And the second video was kind of like a little intro slash thank you video for everybody who donated and supported me and helped me get my PC set up. So thank you guys. Be on the lookout um, for some more content. But for this video, this is going to be me actually putting my PC together. If you see my last video, like I said, this one's going to be real raw. So I'm not going to do any cutting or editing, really. Not too much. Um, I'm not really going to cut anything out. I'm going to show you, like, if I do anything wrong, any struggles that I have building this. I want you to see um, what it's like for a first-time PC builder with very minimal knowledge, um, how it is putting everything together. So without further ado, y'all. Let's get started. Video game lover, we should with each other. I said, video game lover, we should with each other. All right, everybody. So, um, again, this is me putting my PC together. First thing I'm going to do is attach the RAM and the processor to the motherboard. So right here I have um, the motherboard, which is the B450 Steel Legend from the Ace Rock brand. Uh, again, everything that I've gotten, I ordered everything from Amazon. So shouts out to Amazon for making that easy for me. Um, again, yeah, so this is AMD compatible. I am going to have an AMD processor, which you're going to see. So this is just everything that's in the box, the software setup guide. Here's the quick installation guide along with the CD-ROM and I don't know this is like a little tiny screw I guess I'll figure out what that goes to in a little while these are some of the cords that I'll need let's get this bad boy out of here no screw motherboard out of here and so I'm gonna have to cut some of these pieces off this is what it looks like straight out the box this is my first time opening it as you can see so you're seeing everything I'm seeing for the first time I didn't do any practice runs um, I didn't you know like I said pre-look at anything this is all just as I'm doing it here Break nothing doing it for the first time so again bear with me it's not gonna be some super edgy super edgy tech person who again knows computers like the back of their hand but again I've done my research and I'm always looking to take on a challenge so it should be fun because for me I know at the end of the day I'll be able to say that I put it together myself and what could be better than that um, and even if I go through a lot of hardships I put this together and a lot of stress it'll be okay because I can look back and be like oh, look at that pretty thing I built that all that stress was worth it so here we go here we have the motherboard straight out of the box now i think first thing i'll do i know some people they'll do the ram first some people do the mother i mean the processor first i think i kind of want to do my ram first should i i think i will now since this one has four slots i'll more than likely I'm gonna put it in slots one and three. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think, obviously I don't think they're numbered. I think it just depends on what slot one and three is for you. But again, we'll see. You know, we'll be able to see what all works for me. You can take what you want from it. So let's get this open. I'm gonna just start from this, this side, I guess. 
one and three and if i have to adjust it i will because this is where the process is going to go and this is where i'm going to have to put the the cooler fan over top of the processor so we're going to see if that works out if i can get this case open There we are. Awesome. And, oh, sorry. For the RAM, again, if you saw my unboxing video, I showed you everything a little bit. But this is the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. Um, I love lights, but I also love performance. So I try to find things that uh, more than likely came with RGB lights, but it also had good stats. So like, this is a DDR for... 16 gigabyte, they're eight gigabytes a piece, um, 3200 MHZ RAM. So, yeah, I really liked the way it looked. I looked at the reviews, I looked at it on PC Part Picker, uh, with the YouTube videos. So, these are the two, these are the RAMs I decided to go with for many, many reasons. And again, all the stuff you can find on Amazon. That's right, I literally ordered everything from one spot. I was trying to order everything from one spot. Especially Amazon because I have an Amazon account and I felt like it was easier just to buy it all from one spot and when something happened, you know. Amazon has a pretty good return policy, so I like that. It takes good curves of me. So I believe it goes this way. And let's see. Here goes one of those difficult things I'm talking about. Now these sides come out. I'm not sure if these sides come out. Okay, I don't think so. I think I just have to kind of pop it in there and hope for the best. I think I just slide it as such. be too rough on it because again I don't want to rush it and do stuff wrong so I'm pretty much taking my time and making sure in there I'm gonna take it out and try it again I don't think I think it's supposed to click but I don't remember hearing it click line the notches up. There's a little notch in the middle where the prongs are separated. I heard that one click. There it is. Nice and snug. Nice. Alright, now I'm going to do the second one. Ha! First phase. RAM is installed. Ready for liftoff. No, just kidding. Crap ton of more stuff to do. All right, so RAM is installed to the motherboard. Now I'm going to install the processor. So this is an AMD Ryzen 5 processor. Comes with Vega 11 graphics. So you can see the box here. Um, yeah, it's 2400G, four core with an eight thread processor, um, 3.9 GHZ max boost and a 3.6 GHZ base. So, and it comes with the fan included. Um, so yeah, if, um, if you can afford it, I would say get the seven, the AMD um, Ryzen 7, it's because it's newer, but, for me, for what I'm trying to do, and this being my first PC, this was fine. I wasn't too pressed about it, so I went with the AD5. And like I said, I personally like, I personally want the one that comes with Vega graphics. I did still, I know, I, 
I think I've seen some videos where people get this one with the Vega graphics and they say you don't have to get a graphics card if you necessarily don't have to, but I don't know. I I still want a nice graphics card. I don't, I don't think Vega 11 can run by if you do heavy gaming, but okay, that's the thermal paste. All right, so I'm gonna lay this right here. I'm gonna open up the processor. And turn, so you have to be careful with these prongs, but there's like, as you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's two up top and two on the bottom. Um, and if you look on the motherboard where it goes, there's those same two notches. So you pretty much just line those up. You have to, I'm gonna turn this way. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew these now. I'm gonna lay this down very carefully. It's because this is where my cooler fan is gonna go into once I put the processor in. I'm gonna put the cooler fan over top of it. Um, I have to be very careful because again, on the bottom there is thermal paste. So you don't want that moving around a whole lot. You don't want any bubbles in it. And you just don't wanna mess it up. I don't wanna screw it up. Like I said, this stuff is some really expensive stuff and I don't want no problems. So I'm just gonna take my time. So I have my mini handy dandy screwdriver and I'm just gonna unscrew these little plastic. These is that plastic? I think that's plastic. I want to unscrew these little pieces. So that way, once I get my processor in, I'll just be able to go ahead and put my fan in. So. There's that. And I do have a webcam. I have not hooked it up yet, obviously, because I have a laptop. I just didn't feel like hooking it up to my laptop yet, because it won't really be on my laptop, it's gonna be on my computer. But, so for right now, I'm just recording on my phone. It's, I mean, it's iPhone, so it's good quality, I think. I don't know what you guys think. I would like to be able to use my uh, Yeti microphone because I think the audio could be a little bit better. But again, once I get all this set up, oh, don't worry. Videos are gonna be bomb. I got the Yeti Blue microphone um, that I showed in the first video. Uh, they came with the Overwatch for the PC because I play on PlayStation, but um, I want to, again, I'm going to start playing a lot of stuff on PC, so I thought that I knocked out two birds with one stone, and I've heard great reviews about the Yeti, so I'm going to try that out when I do my first stream with it. And then I got the Logitech um, 922X webcam. Um, it has background placement. Again, I've heard a little iffy things about the background placement that it's not too great, and the way it tries to do it itself um it doesn't really replace the background like it should sometimes it may cut off a little bit or maybe a little grady so not really sure i'll use that that much i want to try it just because it's on there but more likely i'll either just have my background because i'm gonna have um, i'm still setting up my pc area but because i revamped the whole area because it's really just for like schoolwork and stuff but now that i'm graduated and i'm turning this whole area into my gaming spot I'm gonna like post all my posters and put some figurines on the wall and stuff like that. So I think I'll kind of want my background just so you can kind of see the stuff that's behind me. If I necessarily want some videos like with just me in it overlapping over the gaming video, then I'm just gonna get a green screen more likely. But yeah, regardless of that, I heard really great reviews about it. So I'm excited to use that too. So for now, I'm using my iPhone, I have the X Max iPhone has a great quality camera. This camera is awesome. I know this is the front camera I'm using, but I don't know about that one. I know the back camera, I believe, can record in 4K. So, and even just looking at this one, it's still good quality. And I have my window open, so the lighting is really good. But I do want to get a ring light eventually, but we're taking baby steps for now. So now I'm ready to, to put in the processor. I'm just going to lift up this little arm right here. Um, I don't know if you can really see it. But it's like a little silver arm standing up. So, okay, we're gonna get back to that. Oh, okay, just kidding. That was the part that was on the, um, okay, where I had the screws come out so I could put the fan in. I was like, oh god, I'm breaking stuff already. All right, so now I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna be very careful because these prongs are super tiny like and I feel like you just bend one of these the whole thing screwed and whew, 
No pressure though, no pressure. So now that we have that, I'm gonna line this up. It should just fit in there. You shouldn't need, like it literally just popped in there. Like it laid in there. The process is kind of heavy for a little chip. So it just pushed itself in there. You don't have to put any pressure. And then I just lay that arm down and lock it in place. So now the process is locked in. So this part I'm gonna be very careful about. Again, I told you about the thermal paste. Um, so you have to be careful where you position the fan. Um, these screws have to be lined up with these holes. And on top of that, I need to be able to, now I think it has to actually, I think I'm actually gonna put it in here. I think this part, okay, I think this part might have to go on the bottom. Let me see if this comes off. Oh no, okay, this needs to be on there. Cause I think those screws, I'm like, what are they gonna screw into? I do believe they need to screw in here. I think this is where the motherboard is gonna screw into. So, I think I missed, when I picked it up, it came out. So yeah, I had to line it up just right to put these screws in here. And this is the part where you plug the fan up into the motherboard, which is, I believe, over here. I just want to make sure I'm putting it right because once I lay this thermal paste down, like there is going to be no just picking it back up. So if the fan's here, okay, I think I'm going to turn it this way just because oh, I'm going to line it up just right and the fan's going to go in here. So. Let me just make sure I'm doing this part right at least. Huh. I'm pretty sure that's the thing. Oh, would you look at that? It actually says CPU fan on. Now I'm trying to decide because I know that it is in my head, but I second guess myself. So I'm like, is it really? Worst case scenario, what if it's not and I put it in and it gets stuck and it breaks? That's me. I'm always paranoid. Okay, so it is. And if I look at this, this is really like helpful. A lot of the stuff is um, is labeled. If you look at it, if you look real close, a lot of stuff is labeled. And I didn't even realize it. So, shout out. Helps me a lot. Reading is fundamental, guys. Please read. So, I do know now that that is a fan. So, I can lay that there. I'm gonna get my hair out of the way. I'm gonna try to put this in nice and light. And once I do, I'm just gonna apply some pressure. And I'm just gonna press down on the middle. I'm gonna apply some pressure. Now I'm gonna take this. I'm going to screw everything into place. And hold up. Okay, that's just the tension. Okay, it's just getting tighter. So make sure I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. Just because. And like I said, um, just like some tips that I've seen. Again, I'm no pro. Um, this is my first time doing anything this tech savvy besides the time that I kind of wrote my controller. I didn't break it. I raged. And when she starts seeing me game, you might see a little bit of that. I'll try to control a little bit, but it is who I am. So I raged and got mad and like pushed on the joystick and one of them popped out halfway and it's not easy just to pop back in so um i literally just watched a youtube video went to the dollar store got like a little mini screwdriver set and i took it off all the way apart i fixed the joystick put all the components back in and screwed it back together and i actually had to do that twice 
again once I did the second time it was a breeze because I already knew from the first time and it wasn't too far apart to where I had forgotten and it wasn't really that hard so that's like the only thing like super tech savvy that I've done is take my PlayStation 4 controller apart and put it back together twice so this building a PC is like a whole other ballpark but from what I've seen what people say it's not too too hard anybody can do it and once like, I watch videos I'm like oh you know Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I bite off more than I can chew. But, you know, I was like, no, I can do this. All it takes is some hard work and just some, really just some time and dinner. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I don't know if it showed on you guys in. My mom's calling and it stopped the video. But, yeah. So I'll call her back. Jeez, thanks, Ma. I don't want to make sure I'm not doing this too tight. If I need to go back and tighten it, I can. But I'm just going to make sure it's in there good enough. Usually I can feel, like, you can feel when it um, kind of stops you from tightening it. So, now that that's in there, that's screwed in pretty well, actually. Um, now I can figure out what I was doing with this fan. Now I see the notches. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and let's see if this is the way it goes. You won't know until you try. Huh, just that simple. Okay, I think it's maybe 182 fans. There's another notch for that. That's why the other one is there. But yeah, so then you just slide it in just like that and you're able to pick it up. Be very careful, but it should be fine. Like I said, it's screwed into place, so there should be no problems there. So yeah, now we're done with this component, really. That's all you need to do to the motherboard at first. Then now I'm gonna actually put it into the case and I'm also gonna put the power supply in. So I'm gonna switch angles just so you guys can see me work this way. I'm like I said, I'm still organizing stuff, so things are a little all over the place, but yeah. So now we're gonna insert it into the case. All right guys, now I'm over here with my actual case. And I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is actually insert the power supply. I've already taken it out of the box. I got the EVGA 650G3 Supernova power supply. Um, again, the way I was able to find out for me how much power I was going to need for my PC, I use PC Part Picker. If you've never used it, if you want to build a PC for the first time or you've built one before but you didn't know such a thing existed, it does. And it helps out a lot. So basically you can go on there and actually build a PC, put all your parts together and it's gonna tell you if everything's compatible, um, how much wattage you're gonna need, um, you can name it, all types of stuff. There's someone that's pre-built if you want something kind of like when it's on there, they'll tell you what parts you're gonna need to get. Um, it's super helpful, it's super helpful. So I'm gonna put that in the description also. So if you wanna check it out, I highly recommend it. It helped me out a lot because again, First timer, I did not know exactly what I was doing at all. I didn't know how much wattage I was gonna need. I didn't know about any of that stuff. So this actually helps out a lot. I think I'll, I needed about around 500, but I didn't want to get exactly 500 and it push it to its limit. So I got the 650. Um, if you're gonna get something, I got one a little bit higher. Your power supply is something you don't want to skip out on because this is literally what's gonna power your whole PC. So you don't want to get something super cheap like a $30 one and it's gonna melt or it's gonna catch on fire. And that's something you don't want. That's things that I do know from watching videos and from just what I've learned throughout. Um, yeah, you don't wanna go cheap. You don't wanna go cheap and they're not that expensive. This one might've been like 80 or 90 bucks. Um, I'm gonna actually put in this video since I'm actually building it in this one, I didn't put it in the first one. I'm gonna put the links to all these parts if you wanna go buy it. Um, yeah, so I'm actually gonna put the link to it in here. And if you wanna go check them out for yourself, if it's something you think you might like, and you wanna look at the reviews or just kinda check it out, I'll put that in the description. Um, but so yeah, this is the one I went with. Um, I think the first level is um, W, which is white. Again, that's like the cheapest one. And then from up there, you go bronze. Um, from bronze, I think it's gold, or silver, gold, and then platinum. Um, 
So yeah, it just depends. You just do your research on it. Depends on which one you need. This one is a fully modular power supply. Um, like I mentioned in my first video, that just means like if you, as you can see, like there's no cords attached to it at all. It's just like the box. So the cords that I'm actually gonna need for my PC, I can plug in directly, and I won't have it, a bunch of extra wires that I don't need. For me, I like that. Not only do I like performance, I like aesthetics, which is why I went with the RGB lights and which is why I went with the fully modular power supply because I personally don't want a bunch of wires in there. A lot of people do really good with uh, cable management and that's fine if that's something you want to go with. Um, I would suggest if you don't want to go fully modular, go partially modular. I believe for that one, it's just like the power supply, like the power cord that goes into the wall is actually built in but these you can choose like the extra like pci wires and all that are actually like customizable and then of course you have non-modular which um again everything just already like connected you can't unplug stuff and replug it up like it's built into the power supply so you just got to use what you want and took all the other wires away but again that's for me personally i studied wise too i didn't want a bunch of wires i didn't want anything i didn't need um, so I kind of went with this one and you want to make sure that it's 80 plus gold if you see this little symbol right here And when you see it online, um, I know it's kind of backwards because my front camera, but you know, you can you can see that it's not zero eight It's 80 um, Just because that's gonna help the overall performance and the power of it. So just make sure it's 80 plus gold um, certified so This one can actually the fan ports on the bottom It's gonna go this way I'm just gonna slide this into here. There's like these little grooves in here. That's gonna go on top of. And then you just kind of position it, slide it up. And you'll just line it up with like these little holes right here that it's actually gonna go into. If I can position that. Okay, yeah, so it's lined up. Um, there was already some screws in there. I took them out. I put them in like this little shock bus just so I wouldn't lose them. Got this from the Hard Rock Cafe in Niagara Falls. It was awesome. First time seeing Niagara Falls and it was amazing. First time on a plane too. When we went to Niagara Falls, that was my first time on a plane. That was my first time really anywhere farther than Atlanta. Like that's as far as I have been until I went to Buffalo. So now we're just gonna put these screws in here. I'm gonna hold it back just so it doesn't slide. I wanna push up as far as possible. I don't think, let me see. These are the ones that came in it. I don't know if, looks like this one might be bigger. Okay, so this might not be what I need. Um, it, I'm sure it probably came with its own screws. So that's actually for, let me see, these might be it. Cause the motherboard itself also did come with a lot of screws. If I need to replace the screws later, like if I'm like, oh wait, these are screws for something else. I can always go back and take them out. But again, I'm not hundred percent sure where everything goes. But this is just what came with it. We're gonna figure it out though. We're gonna figure it out together. Haha. Eureka! So that's what this was for. Hopefully, it fits. So I think it came with a couple little baggies. So I might make for this and something else. Again, if it doesn't, I realize like I need screws somewhere else. Oh, again, want to do want to do diagonal. So I did the top one. Want to go down here. <laughs> spin it's not really tight but it's in there if you can see the power supply is in there so and that's the back so it's right there and I have a plate that's gonna go over obviously so yeah now I got the power supply in there now just gonna figure out how I put the um well, let me undo this I'm gonna put the motherboard in there now I know it comes with the risers I think that's what it's called that uh um 
standalone prizes. I'm learning, guys. Don't come on this page for like a tech genius because it ain't me. But I promise you, I'll figure it out. I will learn. You know, I'm not going to take nothing to sit down. I'm not going to give up. Okay, we'll take this thing to sit down. But, yeah. I won't give up. I know that. You can do anything you put your mind to. Sorry. Cheesy. Okay, so that's out the way. I think, um... I'm actually going to lay this down. Pretty sure that's what they do anyways. I don't know how to put this in. It's standing up. I'm just going to lay this down on my desk. Now I'm going to insert the motherboard. Now, it should kind of line up anyways. There's no notches and holes in the motherboard that I'm going to assume correspond with this. Now, the only thing I don't know is I seen in one video, a guy was like, there's supposed to be some extra ones that wasn't in there that he had to put in himself. But I don't know. Let's figure it out. Um, so yeah, the graphics card is going to be that way. So I believe it's going to be this way, um, facing like that going in there. So obviously this is the bottom and then this is the top. So let's find out. And I'm actually going to turn this lamp on. Hold on. I don't want to mess something up and I can't see inside of here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, sorry guys, I had a, another phone call. It was from my friend this time, actually. Um, after this, I gotta go. We're gonna go be working on a shoot. So, be on the lookout for that. Got some cool pics coming soon with my squad. So, I gotta get ready for that. But, um, for now, I'm gonna focus on putting this motherboard in. <laughs> Cause I wanna make sure I don't screw anything up. And then after that, I'm going to... Probably save the rest for later. I'm gonna continue it after that. And I might actually. Let me see. I think I got that lined up pretty dang well. All right, let me see if every hole is lined up accordingly. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. All right, so I have that lined up pretty darn perfect, actually. There's not one over there. I don't think it's one that goes over there because this seems to be like lined up with where the yeah, this seems to be lined up with where the actual, sorry y'all, dribbling. This was going to be lined up with where the graphics card is going to go. So I believe all that is in place. Um, this came with, I believe these are the screws that's going to be for my, um, with my motherboard. So yeah, I got it lined up correctly. Um, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna finish this video when I get back. So I got the motherboard lined up. I'm gonna come in and screw it in once I get my sheet and stuff done with. And yeah, gonna add that into the video. All right, guys, I am back. Just came from doing our shoot. You may notice my hair is a little bit bigger. She was outside in nature. So, you know, humidity, curls, don't mix. But so when I left, we were currently installing the motherboard. Um, I have actually gone ahead and just put the screws in just because I didn't feel like that really needed to be recorded. It was just a whole bunch of like little screws that I had to um, screw into the standoffs into the case so that way the PC, the motherboard will stay in place. So I had that in. I had the IO Shield cover put in. Now I am currently on to the part of inserting the graphics card. So this is a graphics card that I got. 
It is the um, MSI uh, GTX, I want to say 1660. Sorry, I looked at so many, I forgot. Yes, um, this is it right here. Actually, I'll let you guys see it. Right there. It is the MSI Gaming X GeForce GTX 1660. So, it is GDDR5. And it is a dual fan, as you can see. It comes with, um, I believe this is one HDMI port and three display ports. So now we're gonna take this and install this into the PCI slot on the motherboard. So I had to take the PCI um, cover off so that way I would be able to align it correctly. And I can kind of show you what I'm doing here, I'm literally just taking it, lining it up. And I'm gonna click it into place. So yeah, so that's what I'm currently doing. I'm gonna pop it in, I'm gonna need both hands. Um, I just kinda wanna show you what I was doing. So let's see, let this lever pop out. Just align that with the hole. Just gonna pop that in. Okay. So that seems to be placed just right. I do believe I have to screw this. <laughs> driver's card is because if you get the m.2 ssd it's like this little strip that you have to like install and screw into place but i didn't get one i got this one thankfully so now i can kind of show you what it looks like so far with everything i have in it now it's really starting to look like a pc oh it's starting way like a pc too okay so i'm gonna slide this back just so you can kind of see it but, so now we got our processor, we got our graphics card, got our good old power supply down here, bunch of cords that need to be plugged in. But yeah, it looks like we got most of it installed and I just have to do the SSD and really just start plugging stuff in. Like the RGB fans that come hooked up to, oh, you can't see it. RGB fans that come hooked up to it. I'm gonna plug in all this stuff, plug everything up to the motherboard, hook this up to the motherboard. So everything just really needs to be plugged into the motherboard now. I believe on the back of here, this, I think this is where the, where I'm gonna have to screw in the actual SSD. But I'm gonna double check on that. And then I'm gonna continue. But yeah, I just wanna make sure I'm not screwing into the, into the wrong spot. So, this is what we have so far. I'm liking it. It looks amazing. It's going to look really good when it's lit up and when everything is in place. This is going to be fantastic. Awesome. So, now I'm going to figure out where I have to put the SSD because I really forgot. Before I start hooking all the wires and stuff up. So I'm gonna look into that and then I'm gonna continue. So you'll probably see a little, little cut in the video, but that's all it is. I'm just gonna check that out. Just to make sure, I always second guess myself. I'm pretty sure it either goes, slid into one of these slots on the side 
or it literally just goes screwed into the pack. I can't remember. So I'm going to double check that and then I'm going to continue. Okay. So I figured out that the SSD slot goes right here. You just screw it in right there. So not too hard. I'm going to wait on that. First thing I want to do is I realize I have to need to put the cables in so I can run them through so I can connect them to this. It's going to be kind of hard that I already screwed in. So, something I should have did before, but again, we learn. Lessons learned. So now I'm just going to unscrew my power supply. And I'm really going to start figuring out which cables go to what. So you'll see me pick up the manual a couple times again. I'm not coming on here claiming to be an expert. I'm not going to try to pretend like I know what I'm doing because I don't. But I'm learning. So now I'll be able to say, hey. I built a PC, and if I ever decide to build another one or upgrade this or anything, I'll know how to do it. So I'm all down for learning new stuff. Oh, come on. take this out I'm gonna the only thing I'm not gonna plug in is the actual power part but I'm gonna figure out everything that goes into this one so this literally says You see it's like all loose cables, but they're wrapped up. So that also helps your cable management. I like how they did that. Got the black tape on it. So now it won't look like too much once I slide it in there. So that I have all these. Now I can reinsert it. Which I believe it's gonna slide in. So this has to go to the motherboard. And I'm gonna slide this one up here. I don't know if you can see it coming up up there. There we go. I think this is the way it goes. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know what this little this for but I figured it'd be easy to slide it there this one is for the CPU I guess I'll slide that in this way
Is it out too far? now because it's right here but I can't tell maybe I'm oh get in there ha ha now as I screw it into place I'm gonna put those under the screws I hope I'm not stuffing it too too much Again, just as we did before, I'm just going to do it diagonal. I actually think I'm gonna put and screw into this other hole actually. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be for both, but that it literally lines up perfectly. I think it's supposed to be this one. But to be honest, I might just do both of them. I'm sure I have enough extra screws just to make sure it's in place. If I need to take it out, I will. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this one too. Just for added protection just to cover my own hiney. Can't be too secure. All right. That's back in there. We got that. This is for the CPU, we got the motherboard. Now I wanna run the cables for. Now we got the graphics card one. It's on the side of here too. The graphics card is right here. I'm gonna look back. I might, you're just seeing the rough edges. I might actually have to redo some of this cable management, but it's okay. I promise when it's all sitting down, it's gonna look amazing. I'm just gonna do for the fan. So. Let me just make sure I'm putting it where this is supposed to go. Okay, so I can let it run it. Okay, right here. That's the one where the hard drive goes. So for now, I'm just going to slide it from here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I'm just gonna slide this right here since it's literally gonna be up here. And I'll put this in. I'm gonna go here and I'll plug it right there. And once I did it this way, and this have an up arrow. I thought it was supposed to go in. Down. I'm gonna figure that out too. Put it in here. All right. So we basically got the main parts done. Got the cables run. Like I said, once I'm done, I'm gonna make it look a whole lot neater. Got this in here. Got the main compartments all filled in. So once I get the SSD, I got all these cords hooked up. Then 
everything else is going to kind of fall into place so then i'll show you once i'm finished kind of what it looks like so i don't add all this extra stuff in there so 